All right. <clears throat> okay. See, so, this is the number table which you have. This is known as jumping up and jumping down tens. All right. Jumping up and jumping down tens. All right. You can see easily. You can see the numbers, isn't it? There is a pack of 10. If I'm identifying 10, if I'm identifying 10 here, if I'm adding 10, I will jump one step, 20. If I'm adding 20 with 20, I will jump two steps, one, two. Mm. If I'm adding 30, 10, 10, 10, it will be 70. If I'm adding 50, one, two, three, four, five, 120. 70 plus 50 is 120, all right? Likewise, I'm selecting five. Five plus 10? Um, five plus 10 is? Um, Jump one step. 15. 15, that's it, all right? 15 plus 10? Plus 10, 25. Awesome, that's what, 25. 25 plus 10, 35. 35 plus 10? 45 plus 10? 55 plus 10? All right. See, when we get hang of things, it will be easy for us to understand. A brain, we cannot store anything. We are giving set of instructions. We may say that even if I'm reading, I'm forgetting it. It's not like that. We are not reading and forgetting it. While we are reading, we'll be thinking about something else. When we are thinking about different things, automatically, what we are reading will not be in our mind. That's what will be happening. All right? See ya? The sheet. This is the first exercise. All right? I have taken print out of this for you. That's why I have been late today. All right? Three pages. What we would be doing is, uh, one by one, I will uh, tell each and every exercises for you, all right? See, uh, there are instructions how to utilize this and improve yourself. Um, have this. See, uh, the rules. Actually, a lot of people say mathematics is Difficult. It is a difficult subject. Uh, because of mathematics, uh, I don't want to pursue this. I don't know mathematics, so I don't want to do this. All right? A lot of people used to say like this. Right? Okay. But actually, it is a myth. The myth. The myth. Students are weak in mathematics. Students are weak in math has to be eradicated. It is a myth. Myth is some, something which we don't have a concrete reason, but we believe, oh, this is difficult for me. This is difficult, right? That's what we are going to change, all right? This was, this was, this I'll say, I'll say. The first page is here, all right? You can easily see that there is a starting time here, yeah. starting time. While you start this exercise, you should not stop at all until you complete these three pages. You should not stop at all. Number one. Mm -hmm. All right. Because we'll be writing the time. Uh, say you're going to start this exercise by 6.45. You're going to start this exercise by 6.45 p.m. All right. You're ending it by 7.15. All right. 7.15 p.m. You're ending it. So the total time taken, we have to analyze ourselves. For example, if you are starting by 7.30 p.m. and ending by 8, 15, 30 seconds, first you have to convert the... How to stop this? Uh, just, that's what I'm going to say. Hmm? All right. So we need a lot of written work. First, when you are start, uh, starting this, Use a pad and clip this. One. Identify one. Mm. Plus one is two. Two. Plus one is three. three. That is, I'll be writing one plus one, two. two. 
Likewise, I would be writing until 25. So my mind will be accustomed to how to add one with. All right. Next, I'll be moving to the next step. That is two. Two plus two, four. That is first I'll identify two plus two, two steps, four. Four plus two? Two, five. Six. Two steps, six. All right. You have this with you itself and identify the number. Now it is six, isn't it? You would have written six there. Six plus two? Six plus two? Eight. Eight plus two? Eight plus two? Ten. Ten. Ten plus two? Twelve. Twelve plus two? Fourteen. Fourteen. So you will be slowly accustomed to adding two faster than anyone else. Because 25 times you'll be writing this. All right? Until you get 50. All right? If I'm going to, likewise, next we'll be moving to three. All right? Three plus three. First, identify three. Three. Three plus three. Six. Good. Six plus three. Nine. Nine plus three. Plus three to 12. 12 plus 3? 15. 15 plus 3? 18. Awesome. 18 plus 3? 21. 21. Good. Likewise, you will be adding 3. 3. When we are working with numbers, quantity, automatically our speed will be increasing. Okay. Adding numbers. All right. Because we'll be jumping down three steps. Next, we'll be moving for four. All right. Likewise, when I'm moving for seven, we can move in two ways. First, I will identify seven. See and write. You can see and write. You can see here. You can have this here and write it. Okay. If I'm going to add four, four, I identify four plus four. Jump to twice. Eight. Eight. Eight plus four. 12. 12. Right, 12. You have this with you. Okay. Seeing this, you write. Okay. What I want is, when you're going to complete this exercise, this number table will be in your head. All right? Okay. All these numbers will be coming into your head automatically. In one time, when you're adding a number or something, you will immediately start adding. All right? Okay. You immediately start adding. That's why we are working with these numbers. All right. Now, when we go to the second page of this, see here, second page, what we have to do, if I'm going to add 13, all right, 13. You already know how to add, already practice in first page. All right. So first, identify 13. Yeah. All right. Identify 13 like this. All right. I'll keep that. You have this board with you. Keep this here. You have this board with you. First, identify 13. 13 plus 3 is? 50. Check it. You are adding 2 only. 13 plus 3. Okay, 16. 16 plus 10. For 10, what do you have to do? Jump up. 20. No, no, no. Wait. All right. Check here. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to add 13 now. All right. First, I'll identify 13. I'm going to add 13. So what is 13? It is 10 plus 3. Right? 13 is 10 plus 3, right? Yes. So first I will add 3. So 1, 2, 3, 16. All right? Plus 10. 16 plus 10, one step. 26. 26. Uh, check here. Then after that, after some time, I will ask you to answer with this. All right? Okay. 13 plus 3 is 16. 
16 plus 10, 26. Jump one step. 26 plus 3 is 29. 29 plus 10, 39. 39 plus 3 is 42. 42 plus 10, 52. Plus 3, 55. 10, 65. Plus 3, 68. Plus 10, 78. I'll write that 78. All right? I'll write that 78 only in my answer sheet. All right? So you're going to add first, you are, when you're adding a double digit number, first you have to take the unit digit and add. When you're adding the unit digit, it will be going down. It will be going down. So 13 plus 3, 1, 2, 3, 16. 16 plus 10, 26. 26 plus 3, 29. 29 plus 10, 39. 39 plus 3, what is 39 plus 3? 39 plus 3. All right, 42 plus 10, 52. Got it? 52 plus 3, 55 plus 10, 65. 65 plus 3, 68. Plus 10, 78. What is 78 plus 3? You don't have to worry about answering just like that. 78. Identify 78 here. Plus 3. 1, 2, and 3. 81. Plus 10, 90. You have to write 91 there. Then from 91, you have to add 3. And then add 10. Add 3, add 10. Uh, Jinu, uh, don't worry about trying to give answers, all right? You can take your time, number one, all right? The, when you understand a format, actually you are doing it properly, all right? That's why we worked on. If I'm at number 211 plus 10, 221, plus 10, 231, plus 10, 241, plus 10, 251, all right? If I'm selecting this number, 149 plus 20, I have to jump two times. Plus 20. If I'm going to add, I'm going to select a number 104. I'm going to add 22 to it. All right. What I have to do first, I will take the unit digit 2 and add 2. While for adding 2, I have to move down, isn't it? 1 to 106. Plus 20 is 1 to 126. All right. Thank you. All right. Okay. You got it. It's pretty hot. This one is pretty hot. Are you going to have it now, sir? <laughs> All right. Okay. You got it. So if I'm going to add 22 to 145, I will do go down two steps, that is unit digit two, I will add here, then plus 20, one, two, 167. If I'm going to add 12 to 167, first I will add two, unit digit two, plus 10, 179, all right? Likewise, don't worry about your speed, all right? You slow and steadily give the right number, select the right number and add, right? If you're going wrong in between, it's not a problem. If you're going wrong, don't worry about it at all, right? When we understand where we are going wrong, automatically you will get the speed. All right? Okay? All right. That's the second page. Uh, this is for separation, <laughs> subtraction. This will be, we will be having three pages for this. Until nine, add until nine here. Then from here, 11. If I'm going to add 11, first I will identify 11. 11 is made up of 10 plus one, right? Okay. So plus one, see here, plus one is 12, plus 10, 22 plus 1, 23 plus 10, 33. 
I will write 33 alone. All right, I will write 33. Plus one, 34. Plus 10, 44. Plus one, 45. Plus 10, 55. Plus one, plus 10. 67, 77. Slowly, your mind would be moving directly to this space. 88, 99, 110. All right. So 110 plus 1 is 111. 111. Don't worry. That is how you have to do subtraction. I'll teach you later then. Okay. This one will be going on later. After completing these two, we will be proceeding for the later ones. All right. First, we are going on, going to speed up your addition skills. That is, if you, uh, when we ask questions, you are. We will be adding 22 or 23. Can we add 23? Now we are going to add 23. Okay. Now we are going to add 23. Check here. All right. If I'm going to add 23, oh, sorry. I'm not. Twenty-three tens are two thirty, right? Twenty-three into ten, two thirty. I'm going to add twenty-three with two thirty. Check here. Twenty-three is made up of twenty and three. Twenty plus three is twenty-three, isn't it? First, I have to add this unit digit. So thirty, uh, two thirty plus three, two thirty-three plus 20. So, horizontally, two steps. 253. Okay. Plus 3. Again, I'm going to add 23. Plus 3 is 256. Plus 20. 1, 2. 276. I'll be writing the 276 alone there. All right. After writing, I will move three steps. 1, 2, 3. 279. Plus 20. 1, 2. 299. Slowly, you will be going on and on until 550, 575. The last, isn't it? This one. This is for subtraction. Next page. This is for subtraction. Uh, one by one, each and every day, we will go across. Uh, we'll be going across two exercises now. All right. Or else we will go across only one exercise today and we will come, uh, we will see through some of your mathematics. All right. Slowly we will be proceeding. Don't, don't try to get everything in, uh, immediately. All right. This is doubling, adding 98 plus 98. What is 98 plus 98? Zero. 98 minus 98 is zero. <laughs> all right okay it's not the problem all right okay first we will complete this addition exercise properly after completing the addition exercises we will go to the second exercise then we will go for the third exercise all right all right you got the result Right. Would you like to have tea? Yeah. Why not? I not like. You don't like tea. Then your mom has kept tea for you. No. All right. Now we will. After completing the first exercise, what we have to do? 
Can we check? <laughs> See, how we are going to analyze. This is self-analyze, all right? Sorry. It's not for others. It's for you to understand what you are, all right? First, totally, how much additions you have done is 24 into 25. That is 600 additions you have done when you are completing this, all right? Yeah. When you are completing this, you have done 600 additions. So, let's consider the time part. All right. Let's consider the time part. First, definitely you have to write the starting time, what time you're starting. And definitely, there is there should not be any breaks in between because you're going to calculate how fast you are. All right. How fast you are. Suppose starting time is... Ending by 8.15. Then it would be the total time is 45 minutes, 30 seconds. All right. So 45 into 60, it will give time in seconds. So total... Uh -huh. hmm? One minute has... One minute has how many seconds? 60 seconds. All right. One minute has 60 seconds. Exam. Which one? Exam. Exam. Yeah, this one is what I'm having showing you here. How to work this. I told you how after completing, you have to analyze this input. See, yeah, the total seconds taken is 2730. How much additions we have done? 600 additions. So, how much time you are taken, average time taken for one addition for you would be around, okay, 4.55 seconds. All okay. right. Likewise, next one, error analysis. In error analysis, what we do is, we are writing a sentence. Suppose if you have written a wrong number, then it will be considered as one error. If I'm going to add 13, 13 plus 13 is 26, plus 3 is 16, plus 10 is 26. 16 plus 10, 26. 16. Uh, I'm just going to explain this. All right. Likewise, overall, if you have done 20 errors, all right, and I will consider the striking or overwriting also as an error because. If you strike and write, your teachers may consider that you're not doing it properly. All right? So the total error is around 60. Total error is around 60. That's, that's a, Wait. Yeah. You have to write, complete everything. Oh. After that, this is just an example. How, yeah. This is what you have to do after completing this. If you have written, overwritten, or uh, written it wrongly, copied it wrongly, then you have to consider the, uh, that one as error. All right? After that, check here. After that, in each and every, hmm, if I divide this, it will be around 1 by 10. It means that for every 10 steps, 10 smaller steps, I may do one step wrong. Only two times. Only two right now. Uh, three pages. This one, this one, and this one. Okay. All right? Three pages you have to write. Okay? Got it? So, if you are working in mathematics, time is one major concern. We won't be having a lot of time. So we have to consider that time, number one. And without our knowledge, we may do a lot of mistakes, right? If I'm going to add three, I may add four, or I may add two alone and write it as the answer. So that mistake has to be reduced. All right? 
that mistake has to be reduced. So when you have that knowledge, when you understand that, oh, these are the errors which I'm doing, definitely you will become faster and faster. I'm going to help you become a max wizard. All right? If you think that you're not good in mathematics or something until now, we are going to change that thought within a month itself. All right? Yes, Professor. Yeah. This is the second exercise. This is the second exercise, which is for subtraction. All right. These two pages equate to subtractions. All right. Second exercise. First, you do this alone. All right. This alone. Automatically, you would be getting the result. All right. So when you understand what you are, automatically you will be getting the result. Where you're going wrong? What kind of mistakes you're doing? You're not going to have this. So why not? So more hard. Get this for you. Huh? Is that so? Okay, I'll drink it then. All right. Now you understand, uh, understood, isn't it? This is what you're going to do. Uh, if you're going to start now, first you have to write, check the time and start start writing the time. Then you have to proceed to the next step, next step, next step. Check here. I'll once again say for 21. Wait, wait. Uh, once again, I will say for 20. Okay, 21. How to add 21? First, identi identify 21. If you're going to add 21, this one, 21, identify 21. 21 is 1 plus 20. So first I will add 1. All right. First I will add 1. One step. So 22 plus 20, 1, 2. For 20, I have to, for adding 10, I have to move horizontally. This way. For adding 10, I have to move horizontally like this. If I'm going to add 20 to 24, I'll be moving two steps here. 34, 44. If I'm adding seven, uh, 10 to 74, 74 plus 10, 84. All right. This is the first day. So I will drop at this point. All right. You complete this exercise today. Slowly, we will be picking up pace and we'll be moving through one exercise tomorrow. I will teach you how to do subtraction exercise. Yeah, the second exercise, subtraction exercise. And also, uh, you have this here. This one is addition. Second and third page of addition. These, uh, this one, you have to complete this one and this one. The, the, this is the three exercises. All right, don't start now. After I go, make yourself ready and everything. Uh, take a pad or something, clip it, have this next to you, slowly add and write each and every thing. All right, it will be useful for you. You understood, isn't it? Uh, today you can do. After I start, you can do. All right, Jerome, we had a very good time, I hope. How you feel? I am happy teaching you, actually. I would have sent someone else to teach you. But I thought that you need my guidance more. I have around 10 to 15 brothers and sisters who would be teaching. But they won't be that much strong in they, they won't be that much, uh, they are not as strong as me. So I thought for you, it would be better for me to come. Mostly for 12th or college people only, I would be teaching. It's because of you only I came. All right. I want you to become a very, very great person. You told you want to become a surgeon, isn't it? Yes. Definitely you can become. 
for that we have to be strong enough and you would become a surgeon in future all right good thank you then This is my symbols. Enlightenment. I would like to enlighten people. And I will put my heart and soul into teaching. Passion. This one is my signature. This one. This one. This one is, uh, in Tamil, we say agal. Just like a... Um, this one, we will add some oil and put a three in it and light it. To give light, we used to do this. In Diwali time and all, they used to keep this one, a brown color, small small pot like thing, where we will add oil and a white uh, thread like structure. Then we will light it. We will be keeping outside in the walls and everything so that it will remove all the darkness out of our life. All right. Each and every country and culture have a basic thought or something. Yeah. All right. Uh, this one symbolizes enlightenment. That is lighting darkness. A lot of people have darkness in them. They don't know how to travel. If you have light, you can easily walk. That's why it symbolizes like that. Okay. Very good. See you tomorrow then.